Take a look at that texture. Elastic and chewy, fine but irregular. That, my friends, spells yeast. Don't you guys do anything else? Wow, cell division, very impressive. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, he's broken out the sock puppets. We already know everything there is to know about yeast. Oh yeah? Well, perhaps you'd like to play Yeastopediac. Hi, kids. Let's test your yeasty knowledge. Question number one. Yeast are A, bacteria, B, molds, C, fungi, D, just barely technically alive. The answer, of course, is C, yeast are fungi, which is why they get invited to all the best parties. <laughs> Never mind. Question number two. Yeast, Latin name, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, means A, very small mushroom, B, faceless orb, C, sweet beer mold. D, stinky sock puppet. <laughs> well, although they're all very, very good answers, except D, which is very stupid. The correct answer is C. Now, if you were thrown off by that whole mold thing, remember, this critter was christened before the Greeks or the Romans knew anything but, well, you know, wearing sheets and building roads. Next question. The process by which yeast consumes sugars and produce CO2 and ethanol is called A, tying one on, B, pigging out, C, cross-pollination, or D, fermentation. Why, that's right. The answer is D. Whether yeast are boosting bread or brewing beer, the process is called fermentation. Last question. If yeast were to star in a horror or sci-fi film, they'd most likely play A, mummies, B, zombies, or C, tribbles. The answer, all of the above. They start out dry as mummies, they reanimate like zombies, and then they reproduce like those gosh darn tribbles. So, how'd you do? Ah, who cares, let's bake.